I want to talk about a different type of surgery, which is the lobectomy. Did I say that correctly? Yes. What is that? And so, as you saw, there's a right lobe and there's a left lobe. Right. Well, if they have a small thyroid cancer, 1.5 centimeters, for example, and no lymph node involvement, and no need for radioactive iodine, then we could just take the thyroid lobe out alone, and that's sufficient for the vast majority of patients. Mm -hmm. Now, you took the thyroid lobe out from Nancy, in Nancy's case. Yes, both lobes. And you can live fine without both lobes. Well, in her case, I took out both lobes right. and these lymph nodes and other structures, and she's living fine, but she has no thyroid tissue in her body at all. Mm -hmm. It's only because we have the ability to give her back thyroid hormone mm -hmm. that we can do these operations. So she's completely dependent upon receiving medication in mm -hmm. the form of thyroid hormone. I want to reaffirm that because I understand before um, on the, on, in our last segment, you spoke about her being on medication for, give her hormones because of this reason, correct? Yes, of course. Okay, okay. So it's becoming an epidemic not only in the United States, but throughout the world. And the question is how much surgery is appropriate? And you were explaining that in some cases it isn't. So when do you know if it's appropriate or not? Yeah, so as I said, Many of these thyroid cancers are so small, they can be millimeters in size. And our colleagues in Japan have showed us that some or many patients who have tiny little thyroid cancers, not just thyroid nodules, can live 20 or 30 years wow. with a tiny little thyroid cancer and they never progress. Which suggests to us that in fact, there are in some ways a variant of normal. Furthermore, if you look at autopsy studies from Scandinavia, these were done 20 years ago, and you look at routine autopsies, a third of the population have microscopic thyroid cancers that are of no clinical significance. So surgeons like me have to learn to differentiate which cancers are real right. and dangerous and which ones are just an incidental interesting finding mm -hmm. of no consequence.